Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherie, the first cosmic cop teaching humanity all about God, cosmic design, and Jesus' initial cosmic ministry. This being said, we are going to share the screen with you, and uh, we're going to be talking about things that can be pretty interesting. All right, the title, Do Alien Exist? Here, near this grace, Tyson, and Dr. Cherie's response. Okay. The idea, of course, is not to, only to listen to me, but also to read the newsletter. All right. I know that you cannot read. I know you can read. Okay. But there is a lot of things that you must digest. You see that? If you read it, he's saying that when he was 13 years old, he robbed a dope dealer in Harlem. And the next day, he took 40 hit, of blah, 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 blah. I just want you to know that there is always, always a form of truth in any jokes that someone is saying pay attention so i can guarantee you that not just because i want to say it but because i know his stars near this grace is a pothead big time he's a libra doesn't mean all libra are bad and all libras are pothead don't throw the water with the baby the problem i have with him is that is nothing more frustrating than an educated idiot like him Okay, giving feedback on something he has not and will never ever experience personally, mostly because a magnet will attract a piece of wood. And what is the ultimate form of ignorance is exactly the way he behaves, is to reject something he never studied, doesn't know anything about. That's the ultimate form of ignorance. Okay, and it can come from high place in that case. Denying the reality of UFOs and alien visiting Earth and their daily interaction with the human psyche is a reality well above his understanding and acceptance, okay? Furthermore, only an idiot, again, as I said earlier, who never studied the ancient science of astrology will argue his reality. Hello, 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 Mr. Disgrace, pay attention, okay? On February 23rd at 10.05 a.m. on the 31st, I made another newsletter and a warning for February the 1st, okay? And always, if you've been following me and reading my work, you know when I give a window <clears throat> to be expecting an earthquake, which will be at or above 6.0, okay? And here goes the result on the 1st. As I wrote days before, a 6.0 magnetic earthquake hit the Philippines. All right. Now, this means also that all the scientific community, okay, have a problem with me. And since 1995, I have given them very specific date of earthquakes at eight, or above eight. That's not normal. That's not all the time. And I'm still waiting for their responses okay just click on the link and read all right so mr disgrace is also as you all know denying his sexual misconduct with women or a student or whomever uh with his co-worker during his career and since the good name of the american astronomical society cannot be tarnished can all be tarnished at any cost. He was cleared from the accusation. Okay, not that he cannot afford a good attorney, don't get me wrong, but it's all about the name of the corporation that had put him in power. He cannot be tarnished. Use common sense. You're not going to hear the truth. That's why you come here, to hear the fact and the truth. Now, but again, he takes a gifted astrology like me. All my students are currently learning from me, okay? to realize that this guy was born with a natal dragon star, which is repellent, which is negative, into the sign of Aries, which is very pushy and aggressive. Aries, the baby of the Zodiac. And this confirmer is egocentric, competitive, and animalistic, animalistic behavior with women and men, if you watch his shows. 
Okay, not that I do, but I heard. Now, born in October under the sign of Libra, and you can click if you're a Libra. Again, not all Libras are bad. I have a really, really good friend born in October, okay? His third house, which is his mantle power, is critical thinking. It's located in the sign of Sagittarius, which regulated the codification of thought of book, college, university, traditional education, etc. And then this depicts a serious, egotistical, educated pride, okay? When he mentioned that he's an astrophysicist, it's like he's flying out of straight into the universe because everything about him and his mind is traditional education. But there are reasons for everything, okay? Now, his curse and rock UCI or his unique celestial identity <clears throat> is the main reason to why he is so rational, so down to earth, born a skeptic, agnostic, atheist, and in some case becomes also quite vulgar, okay? I, I doubt Mr. Disgrace could or would agree to his nasty of a competitive comic celestial load since he was forbidden by God himself to delegate or enter the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness. In other words, you cannot teach him astrology. He cannot deal with it. He cannot understand it. He is not set to do that. Okay. All right. Now, after experiencing four solid extraordinary experiences, Believe me, and I don't, I would insist, okay? To me, UFOs and ET's agenda is not the product of my imagination. It's a certain reality. And again, unless you go through it, you have the right to be skeptical. Okay, now keep in mind, again, a magnet will not attract a piece of wood, my good friend. Thus, scientists and astrophysicists like Neil, okay, who vibrate at such a low earthly energy, it is simply and practically impossible for them to attract such experience. When I say the magnet will attract a piece of wood, this is what I'm referring to. That. Their stars are too earthy. Okay, they're supposed to deal with planet as rocks. They don't see life in this planet. You tell them about the moon and the word lunatic, moody, and crabby, and in time of a full moon, everything goes berserk. Is they still deny the fact that you know to them the moon is a dead rock hanging there for the sake of beauty? No, doesn't work that way. Okay, and again, God did not make the moon for Mister um, whomever billionaire out there to make their business with it. Okay, there's more to it, much much deeper. Okay. Now, the sad reality is the reptilians have infected and put many people like him in a position of influence, including many, many of my old friends, and that would be George and Tom, who actually fired me from their popular program for being very, very accurate in making undeniable prediction. All right, now, <clears throat> since I'll fall out, of course, I'll doubt very much that I would ever be invited on other national radio or television show or UFO conference, for that matter, to discuss the reality of those interstellar visitors' agenda. All right, move on. The system is set to indoctrinate society, okay, you, me, everybody else, with religion and science, where the truth about Jesus' initial cosmic ministry or astrology or in the UFO can only be shared through the realistic work of people like me. I'm not the only one who have had UFOs experience. Many of the people talk about it, but hey, that's just a product of the imagination. Show it to me, okay? Now, both the religious and scientific abusive matrix are extremely wealthy, again, well organized, and they own the news media. And they cannot spend over 100 million to advertise uh, falsely the church or Jesus during the Super Bowl. Again, and Chris Wallace will not talk to me, will not invite me to talk about UFO or Jesus' cosmic ministry. And this is why my good friend sharing my cosmic work and my experience is amassed to reach all the people like you who are seeking the truth. Okay, here is my movie. Okay, I don't know, 60,000 people already have watched it. Numbers are growing. Just please listen to it. Okay, and then you can see when I talk, I'm not making it up. It's not imagination. It's real. Okay, it's me being under a saucer. It's me being inside a flying saucer. It's me getting headaches that I would never wish to my worst enemy. Just watch that movie and share it. Okay, because this is the truth. There is more. A supernova reveals a rare pair of stars in the Milky Way. Again, the scientific community. Okay. 
always, always are going to entertain themselves and you with countless cosmic news, okay? They'll discover new uh, black hole, new planet like Earth. And this serves no direct purpose to your personal life on Earth or your future, my friend. It's, it's entertaining. It's educational. I love to hear about it. I love to watch those pictures. But what does it give me? What this type of news are giving you at the personal level? Zero, nil, nada, rien du tout, as we say in French. Okay, because of science, fear, and the ridicule. They fear the ridicule. Their rigid, rigid, skeptical attitude. It is impossible for them to bypass this and that indicate their unwillingness to investigate not only astrology but the reality of ufos or extraterrestrial agenda okay so those critical life-changing information because of those comments is not a share with the general public but i'm sharing it with my students you know right now i'm teaching Every single night for many more weeks, okay? We are into six to six or seventh meeting. Well, I'm explaining to them that this planet is going through the sign of Sagittarius by mutual reception, Gemini. And I explained to them in what very specific house this comet is going to affect them, okay? So understand that um, anything that is cosmic as a significance that is ridiculed, laughed about, and ignored by the scientific community when they're preparing you the stars, or God speaking his will through the stars, is preparing you because of that comet of something extraordinary that's going to happen to you or at a universal level. Again, if you're a VIP or if you're a student of mine, you get to get to know all of that. Okay, so I'm not going to read all the rest of the story here, okay? But at the same time, you can read why um, things happen in life, okay? You can read a little bit more about my new line of talisman and what do I do to make sure you find love, you, you better your health, you attract extraterrestrials, or you make more money, okay? There is no reason for you to be poor, it's because something is missing. It's like any type of uh, disease or sickness is induced and produced because of a blockage somewhere or somehow. As I mentioned earlier, I caught cancer because when my wife dropped me after 12 years of good marriage, I was lost. I was depressed. I was drinking. I was going nuts. I was dying. And that opened the door for me to catch cancer. So now I have bit it. So I can talk about it. I cannot talk about cancer or UFOs if I've never been into it. And that's the beauty of what you call experiences. However, you can only relate to someone because of his education, his intelligence, okay, his experiences, and most of all, his stars. So when you're dealing with somebody like Neil deGrasse, which has a fiery earthy, rational, egocentric, supremely competitive, even aggressive type of chart, there is no way in a million years that you're going to convince him of the value of astrology since he is not only smart enough to dig into it and expand his understanding of the underworld science, okay? But he's completely against it. It's just a natural reflection all your stars speaking to you. It's just like being a robot of your stars. And if you gather cosmic consciousness, like my student and I are, are teaching right now, then you would understand people like Neil deGrasse outside of what they want you to know about them. And that's the beauty of being cosmic conscious. All right. We are now into that beginning or ending of important phases of life. Okay. Read the forecast if you're a VIP. Uh, read the newsletter for more information. Click on the links. Educate yourself. Remember, knowledge is power. Ignorance is evil. Show me a reader. I'll point out a winner. All right. Until then, hey, be safe out there. And we we'll talk to you again sometime. Bye-bye.